Welcome back to our mayoral roundtable. Our next question is from WSMV's Marissa Sulik. We've had several questions about property taxes. Do you plan on lowering those or are you looking into more ways to make Nashville affordable for homeowners? That is a good question, Freddie. Everyone talks about the affordability or the lack of affordable homes in Nashville. You have 90 seconds. Yeah, and last time we were looking at it, we had about three years where we knew we had fallen behind uh, in terms of what it took to run the city. And so we had three successive years of looking at property tax rates. And what we learned then is that an increase actually has a relatively uh, marginal impact on the overall cost of living if you're investing in things that people need, like transit, like more affordable options. Uh, I, I feel like it's inappropriate to have a, a, a discussion about taxes without knowing uh, what the needs for investment are. I think it's really important every year. Uh, we had a history of having uh, the mayor's office hold public budget hearings, the Metro Council do the same thing so that we know what departmental needs and requests are, so that we hear from Metro schools uh, what level of investment they're looking for, so that we hear from our police what level of investment they're looking for, so that we hear from uh, the transit uh, agency what level of investment they're looking for, and we have some plans that say here's how many years it would take us to invest in things like sidewalks and more neighborhoods. And we can choose to do that on either a 45 year time horizon or we can choose to do that on a, a nearer term like a 10 to 15 year time horizon and we know what those things cost. But until we choose to do that as a city, you can't say, well, I would lower taxes or I would raise taxes. More, so, more complex issue. Right. Alice? Yeah, so I, I've actually spent a good deal of time with both state and metro finance uh, experts, and I don't believe that we need to raise taxes. I've taken the position that we've made our city less affordable by raising property taxes on longtime residents. Our taxes are up 70% if you take the total property taxes collected eight years ago to today on a per capita basis, they're up 70% for people who live here. We are making it less affordable. For people here, we're pushing them out. We're seeing it in the numbers. People want to have their property taxes go to a school that they can send their kids to. We're not seeing that happen enough here. People want their property taxes to be reasonable so they can keep their business operating in our county. And we need to welcome tourism. We need to welcome events so that our sales tax are strong. And then we need to get busy working with the state and our neighbors uh, to change a couple of state laws to recapture a greater share of taxes here. And I think uniquely I'll be able to do that. The one thing I'll say to that point is none of the recent investments we've made at the community level a uh, new James Lawson High School, a new Goodlitzville Elementary School, a new police precinct in southeast Nashville. Uh, these, none of these investments would have been possible with either, without either the property tax rate increase we did just a few years ago uh, or the debt that was issued against it. We've put strong fiscal tools in place to make sure that we don't get another unwelcome visit from the state comptroller's office, and that's why I think this is a more complicated discussion than a pledge. All right, let's move on to our next question. There have been many efforts and millions of dollars put into Nashville's unhoused community. Yeah, but many argue more could be done. The candidates for mayor, they're going to discuss that next. 